Welcome to this video on parasites and parasite control. Throughout this video, there are QR codes for scanning and links to information pages from the organisations involved. Five main topics covered in this video are nematodirus, liver fluke, stomach worms and roundworms, anthomintics or wormers, and resistance. Parasites are a challenge faced year round in the sheep farming industry. As the seasons change, so does the type of parasite challenge that we have to meet. Finding clear information on what to do and when nematodirus, roundworms or fluke will be a problem is difficult. Thanks to parasitologists, Chagas, Animal Health Ireland, the Department of Agriculture, Food and the Marine and Met Erin, it is now even easier to find and access this information. In spring, often the first challenge of the year is nematodirus. Young lambs are especially susceptible. Most damage occurs during the parasite's larval stage and if weather conditions are right, mass hatching of nematodirus can occur. A nematodirus forecast is produced by Department of Agriculture, Food and the Marine Parasitologists and Met Erin. This gives a prediction of when peak egg hatching is expected and when to treat at-risk lambs. The forecast is published by the Department of Agriculture, Food and the Marine and further distributed by Chagask. As we move towards autumn, a new challenge emerges. Liver fluke is a flatworm, has a profound impact on the liver and causes different clinical signs as the stages of disease change. Levels of fluke infection vary from season to season. The information published by the Department of Agriculture, Food and the Marine, in conjunction with Met Erin, predicts the risks of disease from liver fluke. This is further disseminated by Chagask. The predicted risk of fluke infection is published annually. The links here are an example of last year's prediction and information. Stomach worms and roundworms have a serious impact on sheep health and production. They cause several visible clinical signs of infection. Improving how we combat parasitic worms is essential to sheep farming industry success. Animal Health Ireland has a comprehensive guide on roundworms and sheep. The guide details the three main problem roundworms here in Ireland, Nematodirospatis, Telodosagia or Ostotagia, and Trichostrongulus. There is a short summary of parasite general life cycle, drug groups and anthelmintic resistance. With a wide variety of anthelmintic wormer drugs available on the market, choosing which is most appropriate and from which drug group is difficult. To help combat the confusion, a compendium of drugs currently available on the market was made by Chagas. The list is sorted by active drug group with the drug names and commercial names included. Here is a QR code and Chagas link to the document. Anthelmintic or wormer resistance are words we all dread to hear. Anthelmintic resistance emerges when a stomach worm population in an animal is exposed to a drug and some worms survive the treatment that was meant to kill them. But what can we do about anthelmintic resistance? There are four key actions that can be taken to control worms, slow anthelmintic resistance development and preserve the effectiveness of currently available drugs. 1. Not to treat mature use for stomach worms unless there is a demonstrated need. 2. To use a white wormer to control nematodirus. 3. Quarantine treating brought in sheep. And 4. Using faecal egg counts to determine what wormer classes are working on the ground and when to treat lambs. More information on what was covered in this video is available online from the organisations involved and from your farm advisors. Using an online search engine, it will soon be no time before you find the information talked about in this presentation. Thank you for watching!